So my name's William Bird, I'm a GP and I also um, Chief Exec of Intelligent Health. And we're walking down Whitworth Street at the launch of the Walking Festival in Manchester. Um, very exciting for me as well because I've been promoting walking for 20 years as a GP because of its huge health benefits. When I've been dealing with patients who are very, very inactive, it's often quite a challenge to get to become active and to decide how you're going to start to become active, particularly when you're really unfit or you've got some problems like diabetes or being overweight or something. And people don't want to go to the gym, they don't want to do a sport. Uh, they want to do something which they enjoy and they feel is going to be unthreatening. What tr we're trying to do here is actually get walking as a cultural change, get people walking, not just for an event or to go from A to B, which is great, but actually for taking your family out, taking, going exploring new areas, people don't even know often where they live, you know, what's around their house or the local history or the, the parks. And of course, every time you walk with people, you talk. It's very hard not to talk when you're walking along. And if I measured some of the well-being blood parameters in the, um, in the immune system, etc., we would see some of the stress levels going down immediately and we'd see some of the things that give us the well-being rising up. And it can happen very quickly, um, in a matter of minutes, we can start to see blood pressure dropping. So this is, from a health point of view, the kind of key part of not just the exercise itself, but that whole well-being of connecting to other people and belonging to a place and being valued and, and just enjoying the, the outdoors, which for some people, unfortunately, is, is a rarity of going out.